Hi, I'm Jessica Mashburn with OK Lady Canine Training. One of the things that a lot of people struggle with is the idea of putting their dogs in a crate or a kennel while they're gone at work during the day or while they're sleeping at night. Sometimes I guess they feel like maybe their dog isn't getting enough freedom that they think that they want while they're away. Um, or I'm not sure, you know, just different different little little things. And I can understand that, you know, it, sometimes you can feel bad about putting your dog in a kennel and having them confined for several hours a day. But here's something that I would like for you to consider and think about. Um, if you're gone, if you're not at home, how do you want your dog to behave? behave? How do you, what do you want your dog to be doing while you're, while you're gone? I know for me, the idea I would like for my dogs to have when I'm not at home is just to lay around the house and be calm. I don't want them roughhousing. I don't want them up barking. I don't want them chewing on things, tearing things up. I just want them to be calm. And, and really the only way that you get a calm dog is if you have a relaxed dog. So if that's what you want when, they're, when you're away from home and when they're not in the kennel anyway, it really doesn't make any difference to have them put in the kennel while you're not at home. What, the, what putting them in the kennel does is it keeps your dog safe. A lot of things can happen when you're not at home. A lot of things. You can, they can maybe see something outside and they might tear at the window or break the window to try to get to it. Maybe there's things that your dog could chew on. Maybe, you know, a towel or something and you're not there to take it away from your dog. This could ultimately result in having blockage in, in their intestines or, you know, having, having their insides tied up in which you would have to take them to go have surgery or you may ultimately lose your dog to that, to that catastrophe. Maybe you have a dog that, you know, you don't know how it behaves when you're not home. Maybe, you know, there's counter surfing going on. That's always dangerous. You never know what they're going to get their, get a hold of on your countertops or your tabletops that might potentially harm or kill them. So, you know, it really, it's just, it's for your dog's own protection that you would crate them when you're not at home. And it doesn't hurt them any more than, than having them do what you want them to do anyway when, when they're out of the kennel. It doesn't hurt them any more than having them just lay down and relax outside of the kennel. If you exercise your dog plenty during the day, you know, before you kennel them or after you kennel them or both, then it's not going to be a big deal for them to be in the kennel for the duration of time that you're not at home. Of course, if you feel like you're not going to be home within, you know, eight hours, eight hours is probably the limit to have any dog in the kennel. And that's really the limit to have any dog go without going to the bathroom. So if you feel like you're going to be gone for longer than eight hours, then you should have somebody check in on your dog. You should have, you know, maybe hire somebody who can let the dog out who could maybe take them for a walk, something like that. But eight hours is the limit. Really, really. Creating your dog does not hurt them. Creating your dog protects them, and it helps them to learn how to be calm. And keep it keeps their nerves balanced. Another good reason for crate training your dog is... For instances of emergency, maybe you need to take your dog to the vet and they have to stay overnight. What's the vet going to do? He's going to put them in the crate. If you need to board your dog, a lot of places that provide boarding will board your dog in a crate. So to get your dog used to that and have them to where they can be calm in the crate already before they go into situations that might be stressful is really, really good for them. Uh, it's it's just going to be helpful and not harmful. So, putting your dog in the crate, it's not so bad. Your dog may actually love it. I'm Jessica Mashburn, the lady in OK Lady, canine training.